Hey, how's it going everyone? Today we're pushing up to top 200, hopefully, in the Clash Royale with the Lava Loon deck right here. Phoenix and Barbarians is going to be my go-to combo for this season, I believe. The Barbarians are just going to give us such good value against all non-fireball decks, and they're just overall such a, a good card for defense, so I'm going to prefer those over the Mighty Miner. Um, just for me, I mean, I know some people would prefer the Mighty Miner, but as far as I'm concerned, I like to go with the Barbs. So, um, fireballing a witch here, we just want to make sure that the witch is uh, not getting too much value, because I know he's going to put something in front of this witch, and he did, he went with the bandit, but we're going to wrap this up, and we're going to get a nice couple of Scully Drag hits as well, and a prince over there, so this is going to look like I, this one LGW deck, It's uh, it's got like the Mega Knight and the Wall Breakers, uh, he has the witch, so we're going to have to focus on defending a Mega Knight here, there he is, um, I'm going to probably... Uh, in the future do like a uh, how to recognize cards or decks video uh, just a quick simple zap here to take out the minions but let me know if you guys want that like um, how to recognize what deck something is I don't really know how I would make that video so if you have any ideas let me know in the comments but I think that would just be a, overall a good video um, it would switch it up the content a little bit and also it would be pretty helpful so I'm gonna go ahead and ignore this because I can use the tombstone for better purposes than defending a wall breaker. So I need the tombstone for his prince or potentially his bandit if he wasn't to play it like that. So um, he drops a good game. It's kind of weird, but all right, whatever. Um, yeah, I, I needed to save my tombstone. So here, as you can see, not using a tombstone on the wall breakers is actually very clutch. So we're going to go tombstone here. We're actually going to go drags in just a second, uh, just to make sure that we're getting damage out of this push before we go ahead and drop barbarians on here. And this is actually really good for us because the king tower is on the prince. I don't exactly know how that's happening, but this is really good for us. A perfect barbarians placement to perfectly counter his uh, mega knight and his prince. So we're just going to go zap fireball here. I'm going to ignore the wallbreakers again because I don't have anything to deal with them. Uh, I don't really want to fireball them because I need to fireball his witch. We're also going to just use the phoenix on this. I want to save my tombstone again for his prince Magonite. I think that's the best use of it. And so here we're going to go tombstone um, on his prince. Uh, like I said, and the Magonite comes in. So we're just going to go drags here. Um, try and get some splash damage. Um, we're going to go ahead and zap. Take out the minions. And here we're looking very good. Actually, what we're going to do is go balloon. I am not in a dire threat from either one of these pushes. So we tank the rest of the Prince, Mega Knight, and the Wall Breakers because there's no way he's going to take my tower with them. So instead, we make sure we get the balloon on the tower and we're going to beat Steven pretty easily. And if you want to keep using the CRL emote, I'm going to use my own Skelly Drags emote. That's how we roll. Steven plus 36 too. Ooh. All right, Sugar Frenzy. Uh, coming in here, uh, ooh, ow, 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 I have a foot cramp, dude, that's just crazy, okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, okay, we got Sugar Frenzy coming in here, and I know this guy, but once again, I do not know this guy, so it's, it's like the things in the previous videos, I know who this guy is, I've faced him before, but I have no idea what he's running, so this is completely useless, that we know that I recognize the name, but uh, he's going to go with the Golden Knight and I kind of have to just tombstone here because I was thinking to myself that I don't want to use the tombstone because Golden Knight uh, in the back is usually E-Giant, so I decided to wait a little bit just to see what he had and he went with the flying machine, so I'm pretty sure he doesn't have the... Ooh, 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 this is big, this is big, this is big. He has zappies, he's playing recruits, 100%. 100%, where the Zappy's at? Boom, boom, get him out of here. Goodbye. There we go. We're gonna get, uh, oh, that's not gonna get me another hit though. Okay, we're gonna go Barbs here, and we're actually gonna wrap up most of these. Uh, yeah, the Golden Knight, however, is gonna take our tower, I believe, here. Um, we're not gonna play anything else for this. Um, I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait, but yeah. Uh, back to me, just, I didn't wanna go with the, uh, Tombstone for the Flying Machine yet, but, uh, yeah, another one of these decks where it's just really painful to like def try and defend. Like the the E giant, the recruits, and like just bridge spam is just like such a nasty, gnarly deck. But we're gonna go lava in the back here, and we're actually just gonna try and deal with this um, this left tower over here because it's lower and it's more of a chance that I'm going to be able to um, take it out. 
because I don't want to get into the situation where like it's the end of the game and I have his tower really low but I never really spent any elixir to get his tower so we just left his tower at low HP we're gonna just go drags here because he's shown the arrows so I don't believe he has multiple spells so we're gonna be able to get a lot of value from our dragons here and we're just gonna fireball the zappies immediately because there's no reason to let him build a counter push with zappies just fireball them get him out of here and we're actually gonna just tombstone here and we should be able to restart our lava push in just a second after we go phoenix here just to make sure that these uh his push on the left side isn't doing very much so we're actually gonna wait a second we're gonna go barbarians just to split this real quick he should dash onto our tower here yep and uh oh ooh, that's not good that's not good i did not expect that okay golden knight dash plus arrow arrows is gonna kill the um, the barbarians. I gotta remember that. That's kind of weird, but I gotta remember that. Okay, tombstone is going to be just enough to counter these because the scully drags actually helped out, which is clutch. And so here we... Oh, clutch! I thought we might have needed a phoenix to that, but that's actually really clutch from the skeleton dragon to block that flying machine for just a little bit. And here we're gonna go scully drags as soon as this brawler is out of range so we could take out this flying machine and we're gonna block for the king tower so that uh, the balloon is gonna get extra hits and we're actually gonna force an arrows out of him that's big that's really big okay tombstone's coming down here we've got the fireball in case we need to fireball his hogs i don't think we're gonna need to play anything else for these recruits right now i'm going to be careful for just a second we are gonna lava hound late but i do have the fireball in case he wants the hog so i'm not too scared right now let's go ahead and see um what he's gonna play he's gonna try and draw okay that's a good play he's gonna draw the phoenix away but here we can just go barbs we're not gonna fireball we're gonna drags instead we're gonna wrap the up the hogs and this should be ggs because now he has nothing left um in the tank for offense so we're just going to go ahead and get rid of these zappies that's probably unnecessary but actually we're going to need to get rid of the zappy so that's good back to tombstone in case he's going to go hogs and that's a good freaking win against recruits it was easier because he didn't have fireball but still a pretty tough matchup um so i i'm definitely happy about that let's go Hold on, just gotta make fun of the Seahawks, they're getting their asses beat. Okay, what's up, Jolie? God, God, yeah, I faced this guy earlier. He's playing E-Giant, dude. Wait, what? Okay, well, I lost this guy earlier and he was playing E-Giant, now he has Miner, so. Alhamdulillah, this guy is on our side, or, or and he's not on our side, but he's running a... God is on our side, ladies and gentlemen, is what I was trying to say. This guy is not running E-Giant, which is absolutely wonderful because he beat me earlier with E-Giant. And now we're just facing Mortar, which is a much nicer matchup. It's still a pretty tough matchup, but I would say it's much better than E-Giant. So we've got the Phoenix coming in here. We're just going to Barbarians. Um, and that should be enough to counter this Valkyrie unless he wants to go with some shenanigans he's not going to do any shenanigans we're just going to balloon here and the queen is out ladies and gentlemen and now he has no way to stop our balloon um he's going to poison but that's all that's going to do is kill the egg it's not going to stop our balloon so we're going to take his tower down really low um sadly we don't get an extra hit there but now we're going to get the queen within zap range in case he does something like a mortar here um I'm going to watch drags just in case he does go mortar and he's not going to. So we're just going to go ahead and zap this. And this is actually really good for us here. Um, we're up a big, big amount of damage. We're going to be up about a thousand damage after this miner. And now we're just going to go ahead and drags this because the drags are also going to get us the damage we need on offense. So we're also going to force out a card on defense. Um, forcing out a Valkyrie. That's fine. We're just going to go tombstone here to counter this Valkyrie. Make sure it doesn't get any extra damage. And um, this is looking really good for us. I'm going to let him get a mortar lock if he does, I think. If he goes with the mortar, I'll just let it happen. Um, he's going to do that. I was considering maybe going with the balloon there, but I'm not going to do it. All right, we're not going to do it. So, hmm, do we go? I'm going to go Phoenix High. I think I feel like going Phoenix High here because we're going to just take it out so that I can go balloon behind this lava and then make sure I can just take his tower. And then we can go into a two, uh, two one tower situation here, which would just be fine, I think. Um, because it looks like we're going to give up this right tower as well. And so um, the cool interaction between the drags and the queen there. Two drag hits. We're actually going to barbs here. Two drag hits and a fireball is going to wrap it up. Those are actually pretty crappy barbs. So 
Um, bad play on my part, but we just wanted to get as much balloon damage as we could, and we're not going to get too much there. But I think it's enough to make me go Lava Hound on the right lane, because... Um, the queen is out on the left lane, so we're gonna have to be careful here, though, because this is gonna be a little difficult. He's got a lot coming in here, so we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna need to make sure we're gonna phoenix, and then we're gonna fireball the goblins and the, and the, the queen, just to make sure we're gonna get this queen as low as possible. We're gonna tank for the queen, and then go balloon up high. Um, uh, I think we're just in the pocket is fine, because we're gonna, uh, try and get damage on his second tower, too. It looks like we're not gonna get much damage here, because he did block with the Valkyrie, however... Blocking with the Valkyrie is good for us because um, he is not going to be able to go um, with the Valkyrie in the pocket, which is a scary play. Um, so yeah, we're going to go out another Lava coming in here. He's going to do some big damage. We're going to Phoenix and get some good Fireball value on the King Tower. Going to get him below a 1,000 here, and this Queen is going to die to a Zap. So this is nice because he has to block with the Valkyrie again, so now we don't have to worry about um, getting pressured in the pocket. And I think just the Fireball Zap is going to be enough here. For us, or a fireball and another fireball on his app is what I meant. So that's going to be enough for us, I believe. So we're going to go with the first fireball in just a second. After I make sure we wrap up this queen, he is not going to use the queen ability, which is really weird. Um, so yeah, we're just going to need to be a little careful in that he's he's going to rush the pocket. So I'm a little careful. We're going to go. Tombstone, and then Phoenix, and then we'll go Barbs just down low to stop this stuff. And then we're going to go with the Fireball, wrap it up. A very good matchup against Jolie, dude. Let's go. I'm so glad he wasn't playing E-Giant because we were on a nice win streak to start off the video. Let's go, boys. And now we're only going to need one more game. Yeah, boys, we're at 205 in the world, so we're only going to need one more game to get to the top 200. Um, so... Wish us luck, boys. We're going to try and get to the top 200 with this one last matchup. And, uh, yeah, wish us luck. All right, VTR from Saudi Arabia. Shout out to Saudi Arabia. Love my boys in Saudi Arabia. It's a Wallbreakers player again. That's very good for us. Um, I'm assuming it's very good for us. It could be, like, um, I don't know. It's usually a good matchup with Wallbreakers. It's usually, I won't say good. It's a, That was a bad Phoenix. Oh, that wasn't a bad Phoenix. Wow. And we're going to go drags up high here just to make sure we kill this uh, Dark Goblin. But yeah, um, Wallbreaker matchups are pretty, usually pretty winnable as long as you outplay them. So here, Mighty Miner. I don't actually think I know this guy's deck. I think this is uh, kind of a, a weird deck. Um, he doesn't have the ability, so we're going to do the play we do against Valk Wallbreakers and just... Uh, Use that little placement there to make sure we wrap everything up. And I'm not going to go balloon with this because I think he has fireball. I mean, they usually have fireball, so I don't really... I'm just going to play it safe. Just going to play it safe. We're going to go balloon afterwards just to test the water, see what he has. I'm probably just going to fireball this Dark Goblin. Yep. Yep. See, I knew it. I knew it before I saw it, boys. I knew this Dark Goblin was coming out. And we're going to get one hit. We might get three hits here. Uh, if I sapped, I might have gotten that hit, but I, I'm, I'm just gonna, I just saved the zap for, um, okay, we're gonna go drags here. Man, you gotta be, you got me four, duh, man, if you get it, man, what the hell was that? I mean, come on, man, that's, that's sad, but anyways, I was gonna save the zap for the skelly barrel, and here it's just not looking good for us at all, okay, this is really bad. Yeah, this is really bad, um, we're also gonna take a ton of damage here from this. Uh, I don't even know what I did wrong. Uh, we're not going to fireball that. I think we need to save our fireball. So we're going to take some big damage, but I, I, I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling confident. We just got to be really smart with how we play our offense. Uh, I still also don't know what spell he has. So this is also going to be a bit of a problem here. We don't lose our tower, which is actually kind of big because... Okay, well now we lose it because as long as the tower was alive... We were actually going to be um, saved from him going Mighty Miner in, in the whatever you call that. Mighty Miner in swapping lanes. I know you know what I'm talking about. I just don't know what to call it. So Fireball. Mm. He has Rocket. That's going to be really tough. But also, he doesn't have another air counter. He just has that. So like this balloon, he rocketed it, but it's not gonna it's not going to die. Nothing's killing it. The, the Dark Goblin finally comes in. But we've already got his tower down to almost out. And we're going to Lava Hound here to block for this Dark Goblin. Uh, we're actually going to also Barbarians here. Um, just because the Barbarians are going to apply offensive pressure as well. And then we're going to go with the Drags. And we... Ooh, this is actually scary. I'm going to need to have a good Zap here um, on this Mighty Miner. Because we are forced to Fireball that. We're going to Zap here before he heats up. 
Um, that's the best time to zap it is when he's still on the first stage. We're going to tombstone even though I'm pretty sure that was going to wrap it up because I was just being safe. I knew I had enough offense to take his tower, um, but we're just being safe on defense. And that is actually really good for us uh, because we're going to get plus 33. And this should be a really good uh, placement for the video. Uh, let's see what we're at here. Um, we are going to be 2280 and 170 in the world, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that video, and uh, I love you guys. Have a great rest of your day.